Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So Donna and I are out looking for dinner tonight and we have stumbled upon... Top Carbone. Top Carbone. And we are on, what's the name of this road? I can't even remember. It's where, where all the Sorianas are. Um, there's two Sorianas in the Golden Zone and we're on that main road. Um, can't miss it, it's right across the street. But before we get going with this video and this is all gonna be about food, we have some very special announcements. Babe, you wanna take this one? We finally made a thousand subscribers, woo! Thank you, squeeze the day. Yes, <laughs> so who, and we're like, who is our gonna be our 1,000 subscriber? <laughs> and there's a channel called Squeeze the Day and they're doing killer videos here in Mexico. If you haven't already gone to subscribe to their channel or are already currently subscribed to them, go check them out and tell them Donna Greg said hello. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everybody who's been supporting our channel and sticking with us for the past year. We also have some other exciting news. We have just recently started a Patreon account so that people who want to support the channel every single month can do so in exchange for some extra goodies. So we have like four or five different options mm -hmm. that you can choose from based on if you want to spend some extra time with us one-on-one, -on -one, we have some options for that as well. So check out the link that we're going to put here for the Patreon. And before we even announced yeah. it, our friend Flip Flop Farmer, say that five times fast. Yeah, Flip, <laughs> Flip Flop Farmer. I think I already screwed it up. Um, thank you so much for donating before we even put this out yeah. there. We so appreciate you. Um, so big shout out Flip Flop Farmer. Yeah, and so brother, thank you. Tonight's dinner is courtesy of you, so thank you so much. So we're out celebrating our thousand subscriber with traffic. And of course, we had to get tacos. We're in Mexico, let's just celebrate with some good old tacos. So we just ordered and it should be coming in here in a minute. So we're gonna go eat. Gracias, senor. All right, so I got two asada and one tripa, and I'm gonna dress it up with some heat. I hope it's hot. That's one of the things I love about Mexico is they always bring us all these fresh salsas and whatnot. Let's go for the treat, but first. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Mm. That's what's not to like. All right, guys, so I got uh, four al pastor. Had a promotion before, so I said, let's go with it. Let's see what's up. Was it spicy? You didn't say. It's not. It's not hot. It's not. No, not at all. And I can handle the heat. All right. A little caliente. So we just wrapped up dinner. We spent 235 pesos, which was about $12 US. <clears throat> ended up getting four tacos, or three, and ended up ordering another one. Don got four, and um, it was good stuff, man. What can I say? So, uh, off to the next place, guys. All right, guys, we are at restaurant number two. This is one of our favorite places yeah. to come and we'll show you why in just a minute. Yeah. We are at Taqueria San Pablo and it is right across from the Soriana. So we, we come here quite often and the two of the, our favorite things that they make here, number one, they make a shrimp quesadilla, which we've ordered. 
And they also make something called a, a Vampiro, which you can find all over Mazalan. But it, it's basically, for us gringos, a, a tostada. But they're just really good. We ordered, another great thing about this place is they have like a little salsa bar where you can get all the cucumbers and radishes and, and hot sauces that you want. This place is super awesome. And um, we're hungry, so. <laughs> we're, starving. Yeah, like we're starving. So uh, hopefully, and we're the only ones here right now. They just opened. So hopefully the orders will come quick. So let's go eat, baby. Got our food, and like we said, the two of our favorite things here are the shrimp quesadillas and the vampiro. So, this is the shrimp quesadilla. One of the things, and we might have talked about this before in another video, that we absolutely love about Mazalan is that you actually get an option in a lot of places for either corn or flour tortillas. We just didn't see that at all in the Caribbean and down in you know, Puerto Morales area. So, we love that. So, I like to get my shrimp quesadillas with the flour. Here's the vampiro, guys. And like I said, it's basically a tostada, hard shell. And I got it with beef. And um, see, we got the extra radishes and cucumbers, and they do like a pickled onion thing here that's freaking phenomenal. So we're gonna eat and then give you a review when we're done. Guys, I don't know what they do to that shrimp, but it is so freaking good. Yeah. I'm feeling satisfied, what about you? I love this place. And they use this cheese, it's known, it comes from Chihuahua, the state of Chihuahua. I don't know what the name of it is, or that just might be the name, Chihuahua cheese. But that seems to be pretty common in the whole, the, the whole area here. And this cheese is just, it's just super good. So, with the flour tortilla, the shrimp that they do here, and that cheese, it's phenomenal. So they actually have two locations for this restaurant. <clears throat> this is the newest one, and um, the, uh, and I'll drop the address in right here for this one. There's another one. It's, we've been to both places, actually. And um, this is one of our very favorite places, and we come here all the time. Anything else we talk about? Oh, and we spent 230 pesos, which is just a little under $12 US. Totally worth it. Come to the Golden Zone, grab a uh, pulmonia or whatever, and get your butt over to this place. We'd love it here. Or just walk. It's totally walkable. Or just walk. <laughs> yeah. It's actually about a little over a mile and a half from where we live, so we just walk over here for dinner all the time. Okay, so now we're going to have the third place for you coming right up. Okay guys, so now we're at restaurant number three. So what we are, where we are, where we are, we're down in Centro again. We're at the main market and just decided to take the bus and hop down here today. And um, we, we're craving tortas. So we're in the, the main market and we found, show the menu baby. Choco's Burgers. And, you know, there's tons of food to be had here, but we were craving torches, so we're here. We just ordered them, and then we're gonna, I guess, review them and tell you what everything costs. That's what's up. Yeah. Been waiting on my husband to get off the phone. We got all this. We gotta handle business. We got all this food here. Can we take a bite on that torta? Let's open it up real quick. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. So, I know we made videos at some point about tortas. And that's the thing about it, they're all over Mexico and it's just basically a freaking sandwich, right? And, but as you, we travel through different regions, different areas, we always find that the bread's always gonna be a little different and, um, and a little, there's always just a little take, different take on the unique individualizing of a torta. And um, today we, we got some chicken, like, like shredded chicken. And I'm willing to bet that everything that we have here is from the market, right? The bread, the chicken, and all the all the vegetables on the on the torch is going to come directly from the market, so it's as fresh as you can get. So we want to take a bite. Yeah, go for it. All right, I need my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. You can't see your food without your glasses. I can't. I can't see up close, baby. You know that. All right, I'm just gonna just going for it. Hmm. To me. Like any sandwich, the torto, the bread is what brings it, whether you're eating a sub, hoagie, whatever, any type of sandwich there is, if you've got that good foundation of bread, like it really doesn't matter what you put in it, but baby, that is, that's a gooder, that's more gooder. My husband's talking about torta as a sandwich, and um, I think it's more than that. Oh, really? <laughs> 
Oh my god, like I think sandwich like I think Subway or Jimmy John's or someplace like that and like I just never eat at those places. I usually don't eat sandwiches, but I freaking love tortas. So it's time to eat. Just wrapped up lunch. I didn't even finish mine. No. It was so much. And we ordered some fries too. We spent what did we spend? 152 pesos, which is just a little under eight dollars. Really, really good. And so, you know, we had our cheap eats video. Well, we found a whole bunch of other places to make another episode of cheap eats just here in the market. So, we'll be looking for that coming soon, guys. So, we're gonna wrap this video up now, honey. Yeah, we're about to go explore, which is probably gonna be your next video. Yeah. <laughs> and again, we wanted to say thank you to all our viewers for staying with us because we did reach a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much. We wanted to say thank you to Flip Flop Farmer for being our very first Patreon. Thank you so much. And again, squeeze the day. If you haven't already subscribed to their channel, go check them out and tell them Donna Greg said hello. And anything else? We're about to go explore. Yeah, take care and much love. Guys, welcome back to the channel. What are we, what are we doing here? <laughs> All right, so I got... <laughs> when we started the video like that, I was like, what is about to happen? <laughs>